Hollywood. It has been infiltrated by Illuminati's, which is backed by the Freemason. They have infiltrated, the Freemasons have infiltrated governmental hierarchies and has infiltrated even in some, in, in some cases, even in the hierarchies of the church. And they have infiltrated the educational system, the health system, they have infiltrated the um, the entertainment, they have infiltrated the media, and they have infiltrated religion. These five areas, if you can have control over them, you can control the world. Religion, media, entertainment, education, and health. We see out of Hollywood, all these celebrities, you see them coming out with so-called uh, music, um, songs that are designed with absolute evil intention. And by the way, entertainment, music, um, all these kind of things, uh, anything to do with art. Art is actually is to do with the imagination. Imagination is a gift given by the Almighty God to every human being. Every one of us has the gift of imagination. Imagination, my beloved, is the, is the back, uh, is the gate um, to the back of your, uh, coming from the back door of your subconscious mind. So with imagination, music enters the, 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 the work of art music enters through the gate of imagination and it comes from the back door of your con subconscious mind and begins to shape form you and turn you into a different totally totally different stranger of a human being and driven away from the almighty god music has brainwashed millions of our younger generations and a lot of people, not just the young and even the old. Music has infiltrated in an evil way and brainwashed millions of people. Education. We are seeing some weird laws being introduced into the educational system. Health. Controlled by the big pharma. Big mafias. Big mafias. Even in religion, there are some church leaders and religious leaders that are Freemason. The mainstream media give you nothing but lies, poison. Turn the truth into a lie. At government levels have been influenced by Freemason. What happened in, the, in 2020, so-called the pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic. I'm, I'm speaking from a biblical perspective. As a Christian leader, I'm speaking biblically. And this is the word of God, which I believe in to be the truth and the only truth. So help you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When you look at the Holy Bible and what it says, which is the Word of God, what has taken place in 2020 was nothing but absolute deliberate action that is pushed and driven by Satan. Through these so-called secret societies, the globalists that are trying to control the world and bring the whole world into one system. This system which Satan has been trying to, has, has established on earth going back over 5,000 years from the time of the Egyptian empire. He has been gathering momentum so that when the 21st century comes, the end of times, as the Holy Bible refers to, that system gets switched on. Gets switched on. 
2020 that the switch was turned on to the beginning of what they call the new world order the new world order where they're trying to enslave the masses under the dictatorship of a very minute number of people that they think they are God on earth. But so poorly, so poorly um, orchestrated, forgetting that they have been deceived by the enemy, they have been blinded by Satan, that there is only one God, and this God is the Almighty in heaven, the sovereign authority, and this God in heaven was revealed in the flesh in the end of times over 2,000 years ago called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All glory to his holy name. Jesus will always be the sovereign authority. Satan which has deceived these people and these people have made Satan their God well their God is uh, his head is under the foot of our God Jesus Christ of Nazareth so who is winning who has won and who will win in the end the Lord Jesus through his faithful children so the corona the pandemic is deliberate. This is the beginning to the new world order. 100%. But why would the Lord Jesus allow Satan to start something as such? As big as this magnitude. Because let us not forget, my beloveds, the Lord Jesus is very angry and upset with his own church. His beloved bride, the church whom he has established with his own blood on Calvary. He is very angry with his church because his beloved church, the bride of Christ, has, wa has walked away from him in the end of times, the 21st century. The church has become more worldly than spiritually. The church has focused more on materialistic things that, rather than heavenly divine things the church um, became um, united with the world not with Christ my goodness that's why the Lord allowed what has happened to happen it is a disciplinary action to his beloved church telling every one of us that you have walked away from me and, uh, and as your heavenly father I need to discipline my children when they do the wrong thing out of love parents discipline their kids when they do something wrong because they love them so much they are so concerned about their well-being and even if it take a parent to discipline that child in whichever way form or shape possible to bring that child back to the right path then the parent will never hesitate. Why? Because parents love and adore their children. How much more our Heavenly Father loves us and adores us. So much He loves us, He gave us His only begotten Son as a sacrifice on Calvary on the cross so that whoever believeth in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. But what is happening in, in our time and age is, is nothing but evil. New world order. My goodness. Very childish. Satan is very childish at the end of the day. Since he lost the presence of God, he is an ignorant being. He took his wisdom with him. But that wisdom that was once upon a time in heaven was of good origin, now it is evil. And every evil wisdom compared to the wisdom of Jesus Christ is absolute ignorance, ignorance and, and total blindness. And the way the world is behaving, the way the governments of the world all behaving is absolute childish. 
Every government seems to be speaking the same language. Wherever you go, they are speaking the same language. It has been dictated to them on what to say, how to say it. This alone, I, we, it, we, we need to put a huge question mark that there is something wrong happening here. They cannot all be speaking the same language. Put on a mask, lock down, vaccinate. Put on a mask, lock down, vac uh, va vaccinate. Put on a mask, lock down, vaccinate. Excuse me? Why don't we look at alternate ways to tackle this coronavirus? Is it only tackled through mask uh, and lockdown and vaccination? Yet this vaccination is untested. It is an experimental vaccine. It is not tested whether we like it or not. Because to test it, it has to go through vigorous testing according to those who are professors, scientists, doctors, who are expert in immunology. And in every scientific field, in every medical field that is to do with the vaccines and the, and the viruses, these are expert people. It, does, it doesn't take a genius to press a button and see what the doctors are saying on a global level. They are saying that this is the untested vaccine. Therefore, we don't know what the consequences of it is. There, there is side effects. Look in America what is happening. Look in Israel. 90% of the Israeli population has been vaccinated twice and majority have received the, the Pfizer vaccine. Look at them now. They are now at a stage worse than the beginning of Corona pandemic virus in 2020. They are now at a worse level. Those who are vaccinated are the ones who are being hospitalized and coming up with side effects. And now they are administering the third jab, the booster, according to the genius Bill Gates. Genius Freemason, Bill Gates. Genius. Because he came, looks like he's got the, uh, the, the that um, magical ball. He reads, looks like he's a prophet in the medical field and in the scientific field. Back in 2015, he warned about a virus coming up in 2020. All of a sudden, now you're a magician or something. You can read the future in the scientific field. I just wonder, I'm asking. Or Anthony Fauci in 2017, where he warned that during the Trump administration, you will see viruses surfacing up, but Keep an eye for the big surprise. There will be a big surprise, a big pandemic. In 2017, the genius, another genius called Anthony Fauci. Have all governments given a blind eye to all of this? Have the governments given a blind eye to all these expert doctors and scientists and people that know what they're talking about? The inventors of the mRNA technology vaccine, the immunologists, the scientists that are well renowned on a global level, have the governments give a blind eye to them and only stuck to what the World Health Organization is saying and NIH or NIH, whatever it is, which Anthony Fauci runs and I don't really care what he runs. We've been given nothing but lies and poison. Why, why, doesn't the, why don't all the governments of the world look at alternate ways? What was wrong with hydroxychloroquine? What was wrong with ivermectin and other treatments? Why do we need to wait for people to get sick and then go into a lockdown and put a mask which just does not work? by experts people this is not my talks and i don't want anyone to twist what i'm saying and put it in a different picture and a different color i'm i'm quoting what experts are saying not me i said it before and i'll say it again i am not an expert in the medical field but there are experts people who who say 
that this is all the wrong approach to go about things but ignore all all the other treatments that have been around for decades Ivermectin and, and hydroxychloroquine have been over 65 years and they have been tested and proven and they have been administered to people for the past 65 years absolute safe and effective and they have tried them in so many countries as we speak and the the positive outcome has been absolutely absolutely enormous and wonderful yet we ignored all that and said no there is only one way to come out of this pandemic there is only one way to come out of this coronavirus and and overcome this coronavirus shut your mouth with a mask that doesn't work and then go into a lockdown to destroy your your immune system to give you nothing but hell lose your job suffer financially suffer emotionally suffer mentally suffer physically suffer spiritually so that way you can wait for the vaccine to come out which is untested and has so many side effects and yes i am angry because I've been getting phone calls from people that I love. And I know what stress they have been through. So government, wake up. Wake up. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, by the power invested in, in me, by Jesus Christ himself, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, I hold every government every politician that has a hand in this agenda evil agenda i hold you responsible for every tear that has been shed from mom and dad brother and sister old and young i hold you responsible for this i hold you responsible for everyone that was forced indirectly to receive the vaccines and we know the enemy's tactics we know that you cannot force it openly and directly, but you, but you have used some deceptive ways to force people to be vaccinated. So what do you do? You grab him from where it really hurts. So if you are an employee working in the construction field or any other field, well, we've told your employer, you cannot go to your, back to your job unless you are vaccinated. Well, this man has a family. This woman has a family to look after. If they don't get paid, how are they going to look after their family? So you have put the stress level beyond the max financially on people. So what do they, what do they have? Poor people. They can't fight governments because you've got the power. But woe unto you. What are you going to say when you face the only power, Jesus Christ? What are you going to do? So you've stressed them to the limit and beyond the limits. So unless you take the vaccine, you cannot go back to work. And people have been taking it unwillingly. It should have been made in a, a, an, a civilized way, in a humane way in a humane way and that was give the option to people those who wish to take the vaccine willingly by all means if they choose to do that that's their provocative that is their choice and everyone suffers the consequences of their choices they are responsible for their choices if they don't want to listen to what doctors are saying and the warnings they're giving and they still continue and want, and want to take the vaccine then that's that's their choice fine but do not force people that do not want to take the vaccine forcing them into taking it because according to the world health organization the biggest liar and the other organizations also bigger bigger than the world health organization liars that this vaccine is the only way out that is the biggest lie in the 21st century so far yes i am hurt because i see my own people what's happening to them and now you want to vaccinate healthy young boys and girls in high schools i hold every politician every leader 
in every country before the Almighty God I hold you responsible for this evilness that you guys are doing that you have no regret no conscience to say that we are killing people we are destroying people in the name of we are looking after you in the name of safety in the name of safety you have you have stripped that human being from their freedom of choice people should have been given the choice to take it or not but I'll say this vaccination the way it's been implemented it is the beginning of the mark of the beast in Revelation 13 it is the beginning and let me say one thing mark of the beast is not just an injection it is not just that mark of the beast is a governmental system it is a pyramid but that pyramid instead of the head pointing upward the head is pointing down because this pyramid the head of it is pointing down they are saying we worship we worship Satan not God this pyramid worship Satan not God so it is the beginning to this new world order new government system where everyone on a global level comes under this system where you cannot buy you cannot sell you cannot go you cannot come unless you are one of us very soon they will get rid of the currency the paper money everything is going to be electronic everything is going to be a chip everything is going to be a bitcoin i hold everyone responsible for every child that has shed tears for everyone that has died because of this vaccination for everyone that has been mistreated and there should have been an alternate treatments where people should have been saved and uh, and we see doctors speak on a global level they say if they if the governments had allowed and even the world health organization and i say to the ceo of the world health organization you need to resign immediately because looks like you've killed your conscience or you have been bought with money was it bill gates money my dear friend how much did bill gates fund the world health world health uh, world health organization and the abbreviation is who well exactly who are they i just want to know who in 2020 alone bill gates gave the world health organization 350 million us dollars he started with a hundred million and then President Trump. Yep, President Trump, not this one. Not Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. President Trump, he cut the funding to the World Health Organization in 2020 because he realized they are doing something sinister. So he cut the funding. The genius Bill Gates came up with another 250 million he said since america cut their fundings don't worry world health organization i'll give you i'll give I'll, I'll compensate you for it so who do you think the world health organization is going to listen to whoever is going to give them the biggest the biggest portion of this money that's why he's been frantically pushing for the visa vaccine the genius Bill Gates, Visa. If you do not repent, my dear friend, before it is too late, just like what happened to Jeffrey Epstein. Do you know where Jeffrey Epstein right now is as we speak, Bill Gates? Does the name sound familiar? If you do not repent of your evil doing, and we know that you are a Freemason and we know the Rothschild is behind you and all the other families. 
If you all do not repent, the wrath of God, the wrath of the Almighty God shall come with no reservation on you. And just like the angel that went and took the life of the firstborn of the Egyptians, just like that angel that took the life of the firstborn of the Egyptians, I ask the Almighty God for death to come and devour all this family from above by the wrath of the Almighty God. For it is not easy to kill people. For what goes around will come back around. Do you think it's easy to kill innocent people? Do you? Do you think it's easy to destroy families so that you fulfill your evil agendas? Do you? Do you think you can get away with it that easily? Well, you are mistaken. For if the world forgets, God will never forget. Everything is recorded with Him. And God is just. And He has a time for everything under the sun. And I'm telling you, the time is coming and it's very close where everything will turn against those who are trying to rule the world and using Satan as their pushing power. I am telling you, your time is running out and your Satan's time is running out as well. For Jesus Christ is the truth. He is the light of the world. He is justice and he will come and give that justice unto you all. For every child you've killed, for every family you've destroyed, for every parent that you have made them go through extreme suffering with their tears gushing down on their faces, you will answer, I hold you responsible. For what does it benefit a man if he gains the whole world and then at the end loses himself? What does it benefit you? How many billionaires came to this world? How many emperors, kings that ruled this world? How many came? Where are they? Did they take anything with them? Nothing. So stop being deceived by Satan. He is a lost he is a lost thing. Do not chase Satan, you secret societies. At the end of the day, George Soros, Schwab, Klaus Schwab, and the likes. My dear friends, we're getting closer. We're getting closer to the grave. You know what? It's amazing. All the money of the world, all the power of the world, all the prestige of the world, all the fame in the world will not stop you from dying, my dear friend. You know why? Because death was ordered by God, no one else. And when God gives an order, no one can stop. You can say, I will never die. You will, whether you like it or not. You can use all your wealth and all your power. You will never be able to stop death because the moment the Lord God said to Adam, the day you break my word, you shall die. Who, who actually put, uh, pressed the button for, for death to wake up and come into action? God. And when God ordered Adam and said, the day you eat from the forbidden tree, surely you shall die. And when Adam ate, he had to die because it was a command and an order from the Almighty God. We will never escape death. And let me tell you one thing. I can assure you and I will put my life on the line anytime, all the time. I will never blink my eyes twice. When the spirit leaves the body, you will face one and one only. The crown of our heads, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will face him. There is no other God but Jesus Christ. There is no other judge but Jesus Christ. There is no other way but Jesus Christ. You cannot escape him. 
you cannot hide from him, you cannot lie to him, you cannot bribe him, you cannot deceive him, you cannot put any plans against him and you think they're gonna prosper. Every plan against made against Jesus shall be put to shame. Shall be put to shame. I hold every government that knows what they've done was evil, yet they went ahead with it. I hold you responsible before the Almighty God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are responsible for every loss of life, for every loss of family, for every stress, for every financial stress, for every spiritual stress, for every emotional, mental, physical stress. You are responsible governments. And you will have to answer before God. And if you don't repent, the wrath of God is coming down so heavily on you. You will never escape him. Oh my goodness. Just wait and see what's coming your way. You, you who have gone and worshiped Satan, just wait and see what the Lord has preserved for the end of times for you. Jesus will always, will always make sure that everyone will know the truth and there is only one God. Everyone will come to this realization sooner or later. And to so-called church leaders, at the time of the Lord Jesus, there was only one Judas Iscariot. Today there is plenty there is plenty of Judas Iscariot they have sold Jesus with money with money they have denied the Lord Jesus because of money which is the roots of all evil they loved money more than Christ the root to all evil is the love of money they have made money their God. Shame on such leaders. Shame. You cannot force people to take vaccines. Stop this approach. Stop it. Oh my goodness, what the world is going to see. Oh my goodness, what is coming very soon. And I can assure you, this is from the Lord. This is from the Lord. Wait and see. For every nation, for every government, for every leader, whether in the politic, political arena or in the religious sector, any leader, any leader that denies the, the existence of God, that does not care about the existence of God, that leader will perish forever. Will be gone, never to be seen again. What happened to Caiaphas, the high priest at the time of the Lord Jesus? He said, crucify him, crucify him. He was, he was, he was saying, I am powerful. I have the throne. I am the high priest. People come and worship me. So who is this Jesus of Nazareth? We know him. He is the son of the carpenter, the son of Mary. I can blow at him and I can wipe him away out of this planet altogether. What happened to Caiaphas, my beloved? When you read the historians, they said he was kicked out of the temple by his own priests. And we don't know how he died when he died, in what way he died. Because the one who denies Christ shall be denied forever. His name will never be written in the book of life. And now the whole world gives, does not give one penny about Caiaphas. Does not give one penny. But look at Jesus, the sweetheart, the love, the love of love. Look at him. He is, he is still mighty. He is still kicking, baby. And he is shaking the grounds beneath all of us. And he's still bringing people from all over the world to him. From all walks of lives, from all religions, they are coming and embracing the true Christ of Nazareth.
This is the truth. Unless we come back to this truth, this world is destined to absolute destruction. And those who think they want to rule the world, the globalists, the Freemason, the secret societies, the new world order that they want to establish, listen, Satan has made fun of you. He knows he is a loser. Do not chase a loser, fear you shall lose everything at the end. If we do not repent, if we do not come back to Jesus Christ, this world is destined to absolute destruction. Nuclear weapons will be used. And you know who's gonna let go of his hand for the button to be pressed? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nuclear weapons will be used in the very near future. Because all these so-called pandemics, and I'll call them plandemics, for all these pandemics, these secret societies, they think now they can control the world. We've got the technology, we've got the money, we've got the power, and we have bought, we have bought government leaders, we have bought the medical experts, we've bought them with money. So we can, and religious leaders, we've bought them with money. So we can do whatever. But I'm telling you, my dear friend, if you do not repent, the day will come. The very technology that you have been seeking, the very technology will come back and haunt you and destroy you forever. The nuclear weapons will be used in the very near future if we do not repent. World War III has begun and it's going to finish with nuclear heads being used. And then when a, rocket, when a rocket that comes from China to Australia, when a rocket that comes from China to America and other parts of the world, you're not, you're not going to be thinking about a virus then. I'm going to show you. Corona will be a very welcomed virus. <laughs> Corona will be going on holidays because when that rocket comes, viruses are absolutely nothing. Viruses are absolutely nothing. World War Three is coming. Oh, it started. It started, but the nuclear heads will be used. And this is from the Lord. The Lord is saying, if you do not repent, if you do not come back to your senses, if you do not come back to your Lord Jesus, to the true God, the true God, not the, not the false, not the foul God called Satan. When you come to the true God, unless you come to him, you have no life. You will destroy yourself. And my dear Bill Gates, George Soros, and Klaus Schwab, and all the rich people that are hidden, you can hide, but we cannot hide from the Lord. You cannot. Tell me what are you going to do with your wealth, with your money? What are you going to do then when the fire that comes from heaven will devour you? What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do when you die and go into the pit? Then you have to face your creator and give an account to what you've done in your life. What are you going to do then? What are you going to do? I am very angry and I am extremely hurt for every family, those that I know and those that I don't know, but the Lord knows all of us. For every family that has been shedding tears, worried about the well-being of their children, you are putting a jab in their arms, yet they are absolutely healthy. They are very worried. But I pray that this lawyer, Raina, Raina Fulmich, I pray that he is successful in everything he is doing. May the Lord Jesus hold him with his right hand, overshadow him with his right hand, and may he be prosperous, and may every enemy be put to shame. 
I pray that you succeed, my dear friend, in whatever you are doing and continue with whatever you're doing because you are doing it for the well-being of humanity. But one thing I beg the human race, repent, repent, repent and come back to God because we have allowed Satan to do this to us because we have walked away from Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am not saying that Jesus Christ is the only true God because I'm a Christian. It has absolutely got nothing to do that I'm a Christian. It has absolutely got nothing to do with, the, with this outfit that I'm wearing. It has got absolutely nothing to do with it. I say it with a loud voice, with absolute confidence, with no hesitation, no reservation. Jesus Christ is the only true God that visited this earth over 2000 years ago. You know why? Because he revealed himself to me. He made himself known to me. I know him. I know him. Yes, I'm a sinner, but I know Jesus. I just don't not only believe in him, but I know him. I've seen him. He is the truth. He is real. He is not a myth, sto myth story. He is not. He is not a myth. He is the truth. In the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. All glory be to Elohim. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Do you think I speak about Jesus because I'm wearing this outfit? I don't care about this outfit. Do you think I speak about Jesus Christ because I'm wearing the cross? No. Do you think I speak about him because I'm a Christian? No. Yes, I am a Christian and a proud Christian. And I will never deny my Jesus. I love him to death. But I'm speaking about him because I know him. I've lived with him. I've seen him. Woe unto you people. Woe unto you people. Till when are you going to be asleep? Till when are you going to give a deaf ear to the voice of God? Till when are you going to stay blind? Till when? Till when? I'm crying out. And I'm giving a warning to everyone. I'm doing it all because of love. But as a spiritual father, if you hurt, if you hurt one of my children, you will have to come through me first before you hurt them. I will never die a coward. When I see any of my children crying, when I see any of my children suffering, I will come like a fire on you. In the name of the almighty Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I hold you accountable until you repent and come back to the Lord and stop this evil thing that you are doing in the world. Unless you stop it, you are held accountable. And I'm asking the Lord, I'm asking the Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ for his wrath to come down on you and devour you all. Stop hurting innocent people.
I was going to talk about, um, about a topic this evening, but as they say in English, there's a simple saying. It says, time flies when you're having fun. And the time has just flown because we've been having a lot of fun. It is unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable how blind the human race has become. The church has lost the plot. Money. When you love money, nothing you will do but evil. Everything you're going to do is going to be evil. When you start loving money, We only live once, and I cannot wait to meet my Lord. You know, We will never stay here forever. King David, he resembles, he resembles every one of us life in a following way. King David in his Psalms, he says, everyone's life, a man's life is like a vapor on a cold winter day. A man's life is like a vapor on a cold winter day. You know, when we go outside on a very cold day, a, we a cold weather, when we speak, this vapor comes out from our mouth on a cold day. But this vapor only goes for so much distance and then disappears. The distance that it travels, it is extremely short and it is short-lived. King David says, your life, people, is like that short breath on a cold day. Short vapor. Comes out of your mouth, goes about uh, 30, 40 centimeters and then disappears. He says, this is your life on earth, my dear friend. Before you blink your eyes, you're gone. How many people have we farewelled? Somebody slept and never woke up. Somebody went with a cancer. Somebody had a heart attack. Somebody was running and fell and broke his neck. Somebody was driving and had a car accident and died. Yet we thought they were going to stay with us forever. And before we blinked our eyes, they were gone, never to be seen again. This is the man's life. It is absolutely nothing. We could lose it any moment. Yet, my goodness, we have grabbed with our teeth, with our hands, we've clinged onto the filth of this world. And we said we want to enjoy life here in this filth, in the pig's field. What enjoyment when you are drunk, when you are on drugs, when you are gambling, when you are killing, when you are destroying, when you are 
doing everything e evil under the sun, what enjoyment is there? Because before you blink your eyes, you're going to leave this world. And I can assure you, there is God in heaven. If anybody thinks there is no God, oh, please, you will get a shock, the biggest shock of your life when you leave your bo this body. You will get the biggest shock of your life because then and then only you will understand and you will see with your own eyes that there is God. And this God is this sweetheart, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All glory to his holy name. What are you going to do then? Bad boys, bad boys. What are you going to do when we come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Hmm? Are you going to sing that? Are you? Hollywood will do you no good, my dear friend. It is poison. Run away from there. Las Vegas, Star City Casinos, run away from there. Drugs, white stuff, bad pills, bad pills. Walk away from them, for they are no good for you. You need to run away, my dear friend, because how many people have destroyed their lives, their futures because of so-called freedom? They want to be God on earth. The Freemason families. All of us, we're going to die one day. And then what? The Lord Jesus, I'll leave you with this. I will leave you with this. I've said it before and I'll say it again. And I'll say it always until the Lord calls it the day for this useless servant of his. The Lord Jesus said to all of us in his holy book, the Holy Bible, he said it. There is not a day and I'm just elaborating. It's not uh, I'm paraphrasing him. He said, there is not one day that goes by without you asking a question. There is not one day that goes by unless you've asked a question or two or ten. Life cannot go on without a question being asked. Parents get up in the morning, see their children. Good morning, daughter. Good morning, son. How are you? Are you okay? They ask. It's natural. But the Lord came in his holy Bible and he said, if you are able, my, be, my beloved children, if you're able to answer this one question, if you're able to answer it, then you would have answered every single other question that would come your way. What is that question, Lord? What does it benefit a man if he gained the whole world and then he lost himself? Yet he lost himself. What does it benefit a man if he gains the whole world and at the end he loses himself? For what can you give in the place of that self? What can you give once it's gone? It will never come back. What does it benefit a man if he gained the whole world and at the end lost himself? But blessed is he who loses himself for my sake. I, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, blessed is he who loses himself for my sake, for he shall find it in the end. Every human being is born the same way. It's got nothing to do with your religion. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with your faith, your belief. You're an atheist. You're a Buddhist. You're a Muslim, you're a Hindu, you're a Christian, you're whatever. Every human being is born the same way. Every baby comes to this world crying. Have you ever seen a child born, a baby born laughing? Never. Everyone is born the same way. But my question is to all of us. Is, does everyone leave this world the same way? Of course not. 
Our beginning is the same, but our end is dependent on whom we trust, in whom we trust, on in whom we believe, and on whom we are clinging to. It all depends. Which way did we choose to walk in? That will determine our end. The beginning is the same, but the end is not. Jesus, in the Gospel of John 14, 6, said to his disciples and the whole world, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. 